here we will discuss the type of virtual warehouses provided by snowflake at very high level snowflake provides two type of computes user defined compute and serverless compute within user defined compute it can be further classified as a single cluster compute multi cluster compute and snowpark optimized compute when it comes to serverless you as a data engineer don't have much choice to configure and it is automatically provisioned by snowflake based on your declaration and scale in and scale out by snowflake cloud service layer as per the workload demand if you are running a task or using pipe object to copy data or creating virtualized views that refreshes automatically all these object uses serverless compute provided by snowflake task is an exceptional object where task can go with a serverless compute or it can go with user defined compute there are other services that uses serverless compute like data replication across the region auto clustering and search optimization services so called sos let's go to snow site web ui and start with user defined virtual warehouses and understand how you can create single cluster or multi cluster or snow park optimized user defined compute this is my snow site web ui and i am using snowflake free trial account if you look into this this is my account admin role and to create a virtual warehouse you need to have either system admin or account admin role or a role which has privilege to create a virtual warehouse so this is my admin menu and i click on this and this is my warehouse and let me click on warehouse here i can see all the existing virtual warehouses which is right now in a suspended mode and this is the size of the virtual warehouse and this is the owner of the virtual warehouse when i click on this button plus virtual warehouse it brings another pop up and if i create this virtual warehouse this will be created using account admin role if you would like to create the virtual warehouse with system admin then you have to go and change your profile as a system admin and then come back to this menu so this is the name i have given for my virtual warehouse and let me quickly provide the comment now if i click on to this type button it brings two option one is called standard and another is called snow park optimized so i am going to create a standard virtual warehouse and if you look into this option it is start with extra small one credit per hour which we are going to cover in detail in the later part of this video and it can go up to 6x large where you are going to consume 512 credits per hour and for extra small you will have a one node cluster as you go from extra small to small to medium it will be multiplied by 2 and here it is a two node cluster here it is a four node cluster here it is a eight node cluster and so on now if i click into this option we are going to talk about this option in the later part of this video and try to understand how this parameter impacts the cost if i have to create a multi cluster virtual warehouse then i can check this check box and it will allow me to create a multi cluster virtual warehouse so i am not changing any parameter here and let me click on this create warehouse button and let's create a standard virtual warehouse this virtual warehouse single cluster virtual warehouse however it can go from one node with extra small up to 512 node with 6x large cluster so single cluster virtual warehouse can be multi node virtual warehouse so don't get confused with the word single it is just a one single cluster however it can have one to many nodes as per your configuration so my virtual warehouse is created successfully named my first standard virtual warehouse 01 and it is of size extra small in the sense it is only one node cluster as soon as i created this virtual warehouse using snow site web ui it has already started and since it is a single cluster virtual warehouse you can see only one blue bar it is not having any query running neither there is any queued query and the owner of this warehouse object is account admin and we all know the warehouse is account level object and if you would like to know more about virtual warehouses i would suggest you to go and watch this video now let me create other virtual warehouse which is having more than one node cluster and let's see how does it look like
And to have eight node cluster, I am creating a large virtual warehouse and I'm not changing any other option. And let me click on my create warehouse button. Since it is a single cluster virtual warehouse, I am only getting one single blue bar here. If you hover on this header, it says size and you can readjust that. So this is a large and this is extra small. So this is eight node single cluster virtual warehouse or a compute resource. This is one node single cluster virtual warehouse. Now let me quickly create a multi cluster virtual warehouse. And here I can go and I can say that each of my cluster will have four nodes. To enable a multi-cluster virtual warehouse, I have to click on this multi-cluster virtual warehouse button and it will give me an option called minimum cluster to maximum cluster. And we are going to discuss about these parameters at the later part of this video. And let me choose total three. So it will start with one cluster and it will go up to three cluster and I'm not changing any other parameters and clicking on my create warehouse button. So right now you see here I got three bar and out of three bar only one bar is blue in the sense it is right now running one cluster which has total four nodes. Now I can click on this and I can click on edit and let me change this cluster let it be starting from three and save the warehouse. Now my warehouse is updated. Let me go back. And if you see here, all the three clusters are up and running. Now let's quickly create a Snowpark optimized virtual warehouse. And for that, I can go here. And to create a Snowpark optimized virtual warehouse, I have to click on Snowpark optimize option. And the moment I choose it, you see my options are changed. Now, once I select this Snowpark optimized, I can still go and use multi-cluster virtual warehouse, but I'm not going to do that. And without changing any other parameter, let me click on create warehouse. So my fourth virtual warehouse is also created. If you really look into this icon, this looks slightly different versus my multi-cluster or single cluster virtual warehouse okay and let me zoom out so this optimize icon looks little different so as soon as you see this icon you can easily recognize that it is a snowpark optimized compute or virtual warehouse so this is how we can create a user defined virtual warehouse or compute resources other than that screen through the query we can also identify what kind of virtual warehouses we have so let me run a command called show warehouses and I can so when I run show warehouses this is the result I get it let me maximize and shrink this option so these are all my warehouses so the warehouses which are created earlier are suspended and all other warehouses are running so this is my type field so if you look into that snowpark optimized or standard you should look into this this is indicating how many nodes we have it if it is a multi-cluster warehouse then this number would be more than one. Okay. And this option is telling how many clusters are running right now. And this is the additional information about owner and the comment. Okay. So this is how you can create different kind of compute resources using snow site web UI. And all the parameters are having a default value. So when you are creating a virtual warehouse without specifying the parameters, Snowflake automatically takes the default parameters. And we are going to talk about pros and cons of those default parameters in the later part of this video. I hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.